question is, can this clean this lime scale? So this is about three months worth. You'll probably obviously hear out of curiosity like I am while I'm filming this video is to see if I can clean the inside of my smeg kettle using lemon juice and water. So I have had my smeg kettle now coming up to three months and I have got kind of a build up of lime scale starting to happen. Excuse any kind of wet patches, um, it's just because I emptied out the kettle ready to do this experiment. And I have been kind of looking online to see the best way to clean a smeg kettle, watching YouTube videos. I couldn't see one video on how to clean it inside of a smeg kettle, so I presume they're all the same. However, it'd be nice to have confirmation that cleaning a smeg is the same as cleaning the normal, because as we all know, they're quite expensive kettles. Um, I have got a bit of a build up. Um, as you can see, I have not only on the spout, but on the inside as well, it's some going on in there. So I will be the guinea pig along here with my smeg kettle and let's see if this works. And if it doesn't, I will save your smeg kettle and hopefully it will be all okay. So the video I watched was to use between one and two lemons. So I've got this one and a half here. I have one that I um, just use a drink and haven't kind of finished. As you can see, it's a bit older. So I'm just gonna use that rather than waste it. So I'm gonna squeeze everything into my little jar here. So that is the three lemons squeezed. Um, I think there's definitely actually a lot more juice in there. However, I feel like that looks like a lot of lemon, so I'm gonna leave that in there. The tip catcher wasn't really working because I kept tilting it. So trust me, these little things are a good investment. Just don't tilt them or else the pips do come out. Let me just move it out of the way. So what, what the person did do was put this filter thing of their kettle into the lemon and water. However, I'm not going to do that just because I think a quick rinse would do this okay. So let's not cause any kind of unnecessary um, kind of harshness to it, I guess. So you're meant to put like for like water to um, lemon ratio. So I know I'm, you think I might be a little bit pedantic here, is that the word, pedantic? I do not want to F up my smell. So I've got these really cute little um, uh, measuring cups from the power shop the other day because my, uh, my, my metal ones had rusted, so I had to um, get rid of them, unfortunately. So let's have it, I think this is, might be about this. Okay, nowhere near. Okay, I know you're gonna think I'm being really pedantic. Okay, bear me a second. Okay, so we have just under 60 mils of liquid in here. I just spilled a little, which I'm not too worried about. That's okay. So just because I did get a couple of pips in there, I don't want to boil them. I'm going to just tip this back in here. Oh my God, I am making a shambles out of this. This is how not to clean your smeg, by the way. <laughs> right. So we've got 60, just under 60 mils of lemon going in. Actually, no, I'm gonna tip it all in there, mix it up. Okay, right, so water. I would say that's approximately the same. I'm so scared, I'm so scared, okay. Just gonna give that a quick stir, stir, stir. Okay, right, so wish me luck. I'm really quite worried because of the little amount in there. Isn't there meant to be like a minimum? Oh, shit. Okay, we'll see. And if we need to, we'll add more water. Let's see what happens. If it sounds horrific, I will stop it. All right. Here we go. Okay, that boiled super quick, which I'm pleased about. So I'm gonna leave that to sit for 
30 minutes and I'll come back. Okay, so the moment of truth, I have not looked in here. Oh, okay. Oh, you can definitely see, I think an improvement. Let me just take this out and let's re-boil it. So I have given this little thing a wash. I'm gonna stick this back in, if I can remember how to. There we go, right. So I need to get in here. Actually saying that, that's just wiped away and that was not wipeable earlier. So that's interesting. So the steam must have just sank on that. I'll wipe that out in a minute. Still obviously some nice scale in there. That bit is by far notably different. That's really clean there. Trying to not get steam in your face. No, see it's still in there, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna try and find something really kind of soft to scrape it off. So I just tried using this really soft, it's a soft plastic uh, mini spatula. That is on there, good. So I don't know if I need to do it a couple of times, I'm not gonna do it again today. But yeah, as you can see, that's not budging. So that is on there, good. So that's obviously my mistake from not doing it sooner. Yeah, that is on there. Okay, so I think perhaps I'll try this again in a month's time. I don't want to like over lemon the kettle, but it's definitely cleaner apart from this obviously big patch here. Um, and this part here, I think personally, you can see obviously a bit of a difference for sure. It's not as kind of lime scale looking. So perhaps if you do this a bit sooner than three months and um, it may actually work, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that. My final thoughts on cleaning the smeg with lemon juice. I think it could work. I think it's definitely an improvement from what we saw at the beginning. However, I would do it a lot sooner than I did. So that's a lesson to be learned for me. I will try it again in a month minimum. Um, I'm just worried about putting too much kind of lemon acid in there, I guess. Just not sure what kind of effect that would have on the kettle if I kept doing it regularly. Um, but yeah, I mean, it wasn't a flop, but it wasn't great. Definitely an option to try. So unless you know of anything else that would perhaps be good to clean off that stubborn lime scale at the bottom of a kettle. Um, yeah, let me know down in the comments. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps and gives you a, perhaps an idea of how to clean this, especially kind of a chemical free way. And fingers crossed if I boil it a couple more times, my water will not taste like lemon. <laughs> All right. Thanks now. Bye.